right, so you're down to the final seam. You've got the top skin you just added to a rib. This is the other top skin on the top of the kite. And you've got your outside rib curved profile. It was your very first seam as you were putting together the whole kite. And now the two of them together, you want to get that seam on the inside. So you're going to, in order to do that, you're going to wrap them all the way around the body of the kite. You've got the rib, the top seam, pieces, the outside rib, top skin, the last seam, two of them. As with all my seams, putting together the edge binding, I line them up on my seam width mark. I like to start at the back to a reverse just to hold them in place. Then do a power stitch. Across the front of that binding so that it's nice and tight, not going anywhere. And now we're just gonna sew the length of this seam and close up the cut. all the fabric out from under the arm of the sewing machine. Nice easy sewing. So a little bit, needle down, make our adjustments, move the bulk of the kite.
when I do this, the bulk of the kite is now sort of falling off the table slowly. And that keeps it moving. bottom layer flat, always easiest.
That's the end of the long seam. Okay, we've done the final seam. It's all sewn up. The kite's ready to unroll, the, undo the burrito. So, get a hold of that internal stuffing. Figuring out, flattening out, cutting, doing...